Hello everyone! Today, rock other worlds on the road! We will have a video about different places that are somehow connected with rock music or metal. So, I pack my backpack, camera, batteries charged and go! Slayer. For fans of rock and metal, the name is very famous. Yes, this is a cult band and one of the so-called Big Four of Trash. This is not a video about the band and its history. If you are interested in things like that, a lot of information, videos and interviews about Slayer, you will find it separately. Today it's about one place that is related to Slayer and that is not California, where the band comes from, and not even the United States, but Ukraine. To the north of the capital, Kyiv, there is a village called Demidiv. This is a fairly ancient settlement, it was founded in about 1026. And in 2015, a zoo called 12 Misetsiv or 12 months opened here. That's where the road leads us this time. So, let's go! The easiest way, of course, is to get in your own car. But there is also another option. Blue line of the Kyiv metro. Go to the station Heroi Dnipra. There at the exit of the station will be shuttle, suburban bus, number 355, which will take you straight to the zoo. Ok, a few words about the zoo itself. It was opened in 2015. Here, as in any zoo, there are different sectors with animals, attractions, places to eat. And here you can suddenly see the monument Tom Araya. You could think that the zoo is a strange place for such a monument. Yes, I agree that the place is a little strange, but why not? So, the monument is dedicated to one of the band Slayer members, Tom Araya. Tom Araya is a creative person, bass, guitarist and vocalist of the band Slayer and in general a very famous person in the world of heavy music. This monument was unveiled in late May 2017. I would like to add that the owner of the zoo, Mikhailo Pinchuk, is a fan of Slayer's music. So here are some photos from which it is easy to guess how this monument appeared in this zoo. The purpose of the monument creation was to make the zoo interesting for everyone and it worked. A few words about the monument. On the stone behind the figure of Tom is the logo of the band and on a small pedestal carved in the depths of a mind insane fantasy and reality are the same, is from the song Dead Skin Mask, which is included in the album Seasons in the Abyss, released in 1990. The statue is quite detailed. You can even see a tattoos. That's not all. There are a few small details on the back of the stone in front of which stands the musician. Here we can see some details about Slayer and their work. Here it is. As well as the inscription below, this symbol from the album God Hates Us All in 2001. And this image looks like a human head and a skull at the same time from the same album Seasons in the Abyss. Attention to detail and symbols that only the chosen ones will understand. 
It can be seen that it was created with love. Does Tom himself know about the monument? Yes. The first positive reaction to the monument was from Tom's wife, Sandra Araya. She expressed her gratitude for this initiative. And after some time, Tom Araya himself said that he knew about the statue, because there was a communication between the authors of the monument with his wife via Facebook, and noted that the work is detailed and really looks cool. He may even be able to visit Ukraine someday to see it for himself. That's the story. Here is a reason for you, fans of metal, to visit Ukraine. More precisely, one of the huge number of reasons. Bye!